You're a man and you love running, but you don't know where to start when it comes to eyewear. Well, stick around. I have some options you might be interested in. Hello and welcome on My Glass Tyler and I have our top seven picks here for men's running sunglasses. Some things that these guys share in common and in general are good to look for in this sport would be a very lightweight frame. Also semi rimless or fully rimless tends to be a preferred feature, especially for the functionality of interchangeability. That's super nice. Also good coverage. That makes sense. You want to be getting protection from excess light and just protection for your eyes in general, no matter where the sun is at. And so excellent coverage is a great option. And also grip, grip on the temple, grip in the nose, ideally both, maybe just one, but not just regular grip. You want something that's more of a sweat resistant grip. You want to make sure that they stay on your face even as you're sweating. And there are grip materials that get grippier as you sweat. And so that is something that we like to point out as well. And when it comes to RX ability, all of these actually, with the exception of one, have some RX ability and I'll kind of point out what to look for there. Anything that isn't RX will I'll definitely call out or has any kind of caveats to be concerned with. Other than that, these are all really good options for the sport. If at the end of this, one of these sounds right for you and you're interested in buying, well, do not forget about SportRx and definitely don't forget about our See Better Guarantee because with that, you have as long as 45 days to figure out whether or not they're right for you. We wanna make sure you're never stuck with something you don't like or just doesn't work for you. You just reach out to us, we take care of you no matter what that means. And also, we have opticians, very knowledgeable, very friendly and trained, who'd love to help you get it right the first time. So you can always reach out to us. In the meantime, let's talk about these frames. First off, we have the Tofosi Vero. Tofosi is a great company for making really good frames at a great price point. And this is a good go-to, one of my favorites from them for all around sport, but definitely for running. You have that hydrophilic grip on the temples and in the nose bridge. The nose piece is not adjustable. It looks like it should be, but it's not, unfortunately. The temples, however, have some adjustability. They're not really gonna be adjustable that you wanna hook behind the ear, but enough so that you can get a little more of a customized fit for all day comfort. They are also semi rimless, so that means interchangeable, which means you can get multiple sets of lenses for just the one frame for different light conditions or maybe different sports if running isn't your only sport. They also offer vented lenses, which will help to minimize fogging. One thing to note, in prescription, the venting does disappear. You don't get to maintain that with prescription lenses, unfortunately, but it's still, thanks to its design, really good at encouraging circulation to minimize fogging. The SFW on this frame is 130 millimeters, which lands you at a small to medium fit. Next up, we have the Maui Gem Hoa Kipa. And this is probably, I would say, the epitome of low profile frames. There's like nothing to this frame. It's pretty much just temples, and a nose bridge and lenses. It's so crazy lightweight, you would be shocked. When you put them on, you're gonna forget that they're there for sure. This is a material that is very durable, very impact resistant and flexible, but not very adjustable. And so that's something to keep in mind, but it is a really comfortable fit. And but thanks to that flexibility, really they're gonna stay on your head pretty well, as long as it's not a crazy wrong fit for you. You have grip on the inside of the temple, little bit here, but it is also textured, but there's so little frame, it really does a great job of keeping them on your head. Also, there's grip in the nose, so they're gonna stay on your face for sure. It's also gonna help to minimize that frame bounce. With Maui Gym, in prescription or non-prescription, you're getting their polarized plus two tint technology, which is fantastic one of my absolute favorite lenses. And when it comes to running, I tend to recommend something more contrast enhancing because it makes it better to read the terrain. We have lens guides on this as well, which you can check out, not just on Maui, but just in general. We do have lens guides on Maui, but check them out. We have lots of very informative videos on the right lenses to pick and the right frames. Check those out on our YouTube channel. We'll leave some links in the descriptions. You can check them out. But anyway, with this in prescription, by the way, it loses that bar on the back side of the lens. And so it is that much more rimless. Really, really great frame here with an SFW of 134 millimeters. It lands you at a men's medium. Next up, we have the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. Where would we be without the Flak? This is an amazing, straightforward sport frame that's honestly good for just about every sport on the planet, but especially for running. 
It also offers semi-rimless interchangeable functionality. If you note that XL on the frame name, the 2.0 XL, that is referring to the lens shape, not the frame or lens size. It gives you a little more lens, gives you a little more depth, a little more peripheral, just a little more coverage. So do keep that in mind if you're looking for a nice large lens, the XL version is just gonna give you more coverage. This does also come with an alternate fit nose pad. While the nose pads are not adjustable, you can opt to swap in their meteor nose pad that'll give you a little more contact if you have a not as prominent of a nose bridge. And while we're talking about nose grip, you do have that hydrophilic nose grip on the nose bridge, as well as the temple, a huge amount of that grip on the temple. So they're definitely gonna stay on your face. And with Oakley, you have their prism technology. I really love the prism road for running. You can check that out. It's also available in prescription, but we also have a full range of lens options available with this frame that you can check out. With an SFW of 135 millimeters, it lands you at a men's medium to large. And next up, we have a newer addition to Nike's collection, the Show X3. The Show X2, its predecessor, was one of my absolute go-tos for just about every sport application. You have a much more aggressive style in the X3. You also have a much larger lens, probably the largest lens on this table aside from the last one, which we'll get to. But you do have that same semi-rimless performance. You do have interchangeability. Also, this frame material is very eco-friendly. It has 40% castor bean oil. Pretty neat. The contoured lens is gonna give you that much more coverage where it's really deep in the nose nasal area and it gets a little bit less as it goes out, but you still have a ton of coverage there. There is also venting in the frame. So the frame itself is designed to encourage circulation, to minimize fogging. And one thing to note about that is that if you do have this, this is available in prescription. If you have more of a moderate prescription, which it could still accommodate, the lens thickness might get to a point where it actually covers those vents. So if that's an interesting feature for you, keep that in mind if you're a prescription wear. Uh, you do have grip on the nose, you have grip in the temples, a little bit of adjustability in the temple tips, not a ton, but again, just enough for long-term comfort and for really that much more customized fit. This does have a nose bridge design that can be a little iffy. If you have any issues or have had issues in the past with bridge fit, where you found that it's tough to find a good fit for your bridge, this might be a concern because it's not an adjustable bridge and it is a really good design, honestly. It has uh, a saddle style bridge, which I love because it gives you more contact, which helps to disperse the weight of the frame, but also gives you more grip because the more contact you have the grip material, the more grip it's gonna offer. Uh, however, it does, sometimes conflict with tougher bridge fit. So just keep that in mind if you're considering this frame. Another note about this bridge is that it's designed to encourage airflow and be a little more impact resistant. It absorbs some of that impact. And the SFW on this guy is 135 millimeters, which lands you at a medium to large fit. Next up, we have the only option on the table that has no RX ability, unfortunately, but the Smith Parallel Max 2 is amazing if you're looking for max coverage and a more rimless aesthetic. It does have much more of a minimal look with a thinner temple. It has that same frame material that is not very adjustable, but very, very flexible, very durable. You have grip on the inside of the temple. You have grip on the nose. It is a non-adjustable nose pad, but it is a more forgiving nose bridge fit. Really a good option if you're looking for something low profile, don't need a prescription and love Smith. They use their, of course, their carbonic impact resistant lenses. So a really good durable lens. They also have their Chromapop lens tech. So that's something to look into as well. And again, we've done videos and reviews and guides on Chromapop lenses. So check those out if you want more information on that. They also offer this auto lock hinge design, which means that just a little easier to manage, especially if you're trying to take them on and off with one hand. Now with an SFW of 135 millimeters, this lands you at a medium to large fit. Next up, we have the Rudy Project Ride-On. I love this frame for everything that they designed into this guy. Really, really versatile frame. Amazing for running, but also amazing for other sports if running isn't your only sport. You have, again, a very large lens. You have that semi-rimless, interchangeable design. You have very flexible temples. In this case, fully adjustable temples, which if you love to do it, you can actually wrap them and hook them behind your ear. 
I don't think that you need to. It is designed to be a good fit with more of that straight back temple and you have a ton of grip on it. You also, and I love this, have fully adjustable nose pieces. And there is also grip on this nose piece. Also, if you like a frame that has longevity, this nose piece is actually replaceable. It is the thing that's making contact with your face all day long. And so if it does break down or if it does break, you can replace it, not have to replace the whole frame. That's a kind of a, a cool feature that I like to point out. With an SFW of 138 millimeters, this lands you at a large fit. If you're loving this frame, but you have a smaller face, this is also available in a slim version. Also, I talk RX ability. You can put your prescription in this frame, but if you have a strong prescription, that can become an issue for rep, but they have a solution for that as well. It's called their RX doc. We've done videos, check them out or reach out to us. We'd love to help you. And last but not least, we have the Oakley Radar EV Path, kind of peak sport frame, really aggressively sporty. Full shield design, huge lens, maximum coverage, absolutely. You have vented lenses, you have grip in the temple, grip in the nose, uh, very, very soft grip in the nose and that same unobtaining material and it's a saddle style. Really good option here and they even have an alternate fit nose pad that this comes with just like they do for the flak. That gives you a little more meat that allows it to be a better fit on even less prominent nose bridges. Again, not adjustable, but very flexible, very durable, and should do a really good job of staying on your face. This has minimal RX ability and kind of a caveat there. Uh, we've done videos on this. If you're looking for more information on the RX ability of this and what your options are with the prescription version of this, check out those videos or reach out to us because there's kind of a lot to get into. I don't wanna to get too into the weeds, but in non-prescription, it is available in their Prism lineup. Lots of great options, especially that Prism Road lens for running. That's my preferred lens for sure. Uh, a really, really solid option. If you're looking for the most peak sport frame available, this is an awesome option for you. With an SFW of 140 millimeters, this lands you at a large fit. So that wraps it up for our top picks for running sunglasses for men. Ideally, you have picked one of these and they are sounding perfect for you. Well, if so, do not forget about our See Better guarantee because I think it really does give you a ton of peace of mind for buying, especially online, but just in general. We wanna make sure that you're happy with what you got. And also don't forget about our opticians. I know I've mentioned it like a hundred times, but we'd love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like. You can find relevant videos over here and also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there too because I think you'd like it. You can find us at SportRx. Sport RX.